Hi guys and welcome back. So in this video I'm going to be making a delicious peppered fish and I've used red sea bream but you can use any type of fish that you like. So this is the kind of fish that you find at Nigerian parties that you always need some type of connections to get some. But with this recipe I'll show you how to make an extremely quick and tasty version that you can make yourself. And I was actually really hungry when I was making this so here I'm just trying to go into taste a bit but I was struggling to get like a neat piece but anyway it tasted absolutely delicious so please stay tuned to see how I made it. So to make this you're going to need some fish and here I use three whole red sea breams and I just cut them into three pieces minus the heads so making nine pieces in total and I just feel that the red sea bream just works really well with this recipe it's a really tasty fish but you can use any other type of fish that you like. So next to make the pepper sauce you will need three red bell peppers, one green bell pepper, two onions, two scotch bonnet peppers but just to suit your heat preference, two cloves of garlic and a thumb sized piece of ginger. Mixture of salt, ground ginger, crushed chilies, black pepper, all purpose seasoning and nor stock cubes. So to begin prep the fish by descaling and cleaning as needed and cut the fish into three pieces as shown here. So next it's time to season the fish. So season with salt, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, and crushed chilies. So you want to toss together to ensure the fish is properly coated and leave to marinate to absorb all of the flavours while we work on the other steps. Okay, so now prepare to blend the ingredients for the pepper sauce. So to a blender or food processor, add in one onion, the three red bell peppers, two scotch bonnet peppers and two cloves of garlic. And with the fresh ginger, I grate it in as I don't want large chunks of ginger present. And I also add in some water to make it easier to blend. So with this sauce, I want it to be coarse in texture and not smooth. So I'm utilizing the pause function on the blender and being careful not to over blend. So your mixture should look something like this. So now add in the blended mixture into a pot and on high heat, just basically boil off the pepper mixture until 90% of the water content has evaporated. Um, this should take around 20 minutes in total. And you can skip this step if you're short on time, but actually taking the time to boil off the pepper mixture produces a richer, tastier version of the sauce. Okay, so this is what your mixture should have reduced to after 20 minutes. Okay, so now it's time to fry the fish. So add some oil into a pan and once it's hot enough, add in the pieces of fish. And you need to shallow or deep fry the fish rather than pan sear it so it holds well during the rest of the cooking process. And you just want to fry for three and a half minutes on each side until golden brown. So 
after cooking on the first side, turn it over and cook for three and a half minutes on the other side. So once it's ready, drain on a paper towel to absorb the excess oil. Okay, so now it's time to fry the sauce. So to begin, add oil into a pot or a pan and you want to use about an extra half a cup of oil than you normally would. So this is so the sauce will be really fried and you can just remove the excess oil prior to adding the fish. So once the oil is hot enough, add in one diced onion and fry on a medium heat till they start to turn translucent. So this should take around four minutes. So next, add in the reduced pepper mixture. And once it's added, don't stir it in the oil immediately. Just leave it as it is for like a minute or so. So I do this because I don't want to reduce the high temperature of the oil as I want the sauce to actually fry and not simmer. So now you can just lightly mix it around and you want to fry this on high heat, stirring occasionally so it doesn't burn too much. And after an initial three minutes, season the sauce. So I used a teaspoon of salt, all-purpose seasoning and no stock cubes. So again, just fry this on high heat, stirring occasionally so it doesn't burn too much as I said previously. It might minimally burn at the bottom as the onions and peppers start to caramelise, but just stir this in well and to be honest it just adds to the flavour. So just leave to fry for 15 minutes, stirring regularly. So after 15 minutes the sauce is ready and you'll know when it's ready as it would have developed a deeper red colour and a lot of the oil floats on top. So this is when I remove the excess oil and a good tip is to use this oil to fry some plantains. It tastes absolutely delicious. So now add in the fried fish and incorporate well with the sauce.
So now you want to slice up one green bell pepper. Now add in the sliced green bell pepper, stir this in and simmer for about 3 minutes or as long as you can. This is so the fish soaks up all of the delicious flavours and it's ready. It's important to say that the green bell pepper is not just for decoration, it actually adds such a good freshness and flavour to the dish that complements the fish so so well. This fish was so tasty it didn't last very long at all and my perfect pairing with this fish is with jollof rice, fried rice and gizdodo. That's like the ultimate Nigerian party food plate for me personally and I have recipes for those dishes already on my channel. So that's it guys, a simple but absolutely delicious recipe. And I've also had a few requests for a goosey soup, so I'll be making that next. So I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.